Hey yo everyone, welcome to my very first step-by-step -step commentary on the battleground. So what we are going to do here guys is I am going to go through my thought process on everything that is happening during this match, trying to, you know, help some people that may not have you know the time to put in that I do. Because, you know, I have 950 hours in the game already, so you know. The more time you can spend, the more things you're able to learn. So hopefully I can pass that off to you guys. And I know it does not really matter, but if it helps, I did get rank 6 on solos. And I do try to main top 500, top 100 on every game mode. Solos, duos, uh, squads, and hopefully first person when it comes out. So um, hopefully you enjoy, guys. And hopefully I can teach you a little something. <laughs> all righty everybody we are going to go we are going to get right into this but before we do get to the actual gameplay let me describe some of the strats that i kind of do if i am going 100 percent try hard for the chicken dinners so basically um i will go for a car and i will go anywhere that is opposite of the plane to loot right because dropping straight down into like a high aggro area leads pretty much to rng deciding whether or not you die right whether you get a gun or somebody lands next to you and gets a gun whatever so i kind of prefer a more safe approach when trying to get my loot first and battle later on screen you will see the red circles are car spawns that i'll go for and the blue circles are boat spawns so depending on where the plane is i will grab one of these vehicles or boats and then i will go somewhere that is not close not within fly distance of the plane to get my loot which kind of guarantees that i'm not going to die within the first two minutes just because somebody got a gun and i couldn't find one right so here you'll see the team dropping to get a boat and ideally you know i would want to get a boat or a car and just leave um, if my teammates can find a vehicle themselves However, here I do decide to wait for my teammates because they're all rather close and I do think in this situation a boat is going to be quicker because we're going to Novo. So we do grab the boat and uh, I am kind of the designated driver most of the time just because I have a lot of hours in the game so I know all of the bumps and terrain of the game which kind of makes it more reliable for me to drive so we don't really crash because you know if you wreck your vehicle right you're kind of stuck running and that doesn't get you anywhere fast don't get me wrong squads uh vehicles and squads are very dangerous right because it only takes about 35 bullets from an ak to blow up like a jeep for example so um driving around could get you blown up very quickly you have to be very careful about that but early game not really a problem you know people don't have their guns they're still dropping so we we decide that Novo is really not within flight distance of the plane. We grab our boat and we start heading over there. So let's go ahead and cut on over to Novo. Get the stars. Okay, so here we are arriving at Novo, and ideally you would want to call out where you got where everybody's going to be looting beforehand, right? So somebody would want to get close crates, somebody get far crates, somebody get houses. It doesn't really appear that we do that here. But that is very that it will be very helpful for your squad to get things done very efficiently. Here, I'm just kind of looking for any gun or weapon that I can find, just so I am, you know, I have defense for myself, and I'm not going to die just in case somebody did make it here before we did. It's very possible, guys. Just because you think you have the best route doesn't always mean that you do, right? So you got to be careful. You kind of got to roll as a squad unless you know it is for in fact clear here. I take the AK over the shotgun because I am playing squads. Um, so a shotgun isn't going to be very effective in a 1v4 situation if you have to fight them all at once, right? Because if you miss that first shot, you're going to die. If you hit that first shot, miss the second, you're going to die on the next guy, right? So it's more reliable to take an SMG or AK. However, the AK does have more damage, so that's why I decide to take that over UMP or vector anything like that so um yeah we did you know we're kind of all looting the same area here which you know not a big deal but decreases our efficiency and the way i like Got to loot these crates CS just players. maybe to help you guys out is i will head straight to the top and then i can look at both the top crates and bottom right so i'm not running through the whole area twice you know i can oh, see really loot good. on top and bottom Right there, you will just see me drop a marker on my location. This was to 
show my uh, my teammates where loot may like be. That out. SKS, I think, for example. So instead of you know describing the environment, you know where this item might be, it is much quicker and simpler just to drop a mark on it so they can find it later, and so you don't have to show it to them or anything like that. So here we continue looting. Top, top gear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pro level. Uh, kind of. Is it like invite or? Rank S, you just have to be uh, like A plus on ESCA and just keep doing really good. Here you will see me stop and pause, and it's because I hear a vehicle. I run immediately to it, tell my teammates, even though you can't hear me because my mic is accidentally muted. Apologies for that, guys. You'll hear me tell them where they're at. I take the fight a little too soon here and decide to down a guy because he's peeking out in the open. I push up. Very amateur mistake. This, you know, I shouldn't have done this. This guy finds an angle on me. Easily downs me. You know, they, they could very well kill me here. Guy pushes up with a shot to, to execute me, but my team arrives just in time. You know, I'm making sure that I tell them where the enemy's at, how many I've seen, all of the information, you know, the types of guns they have, where, you know, that I downed one guy, etc. All of this information is crucial for your teammates to take the fight and rescue you and continue on with the game. So they do a perfect pinch maneuver here. One goes left, one go right. They easily clean up the fight, which gets a res off in, on me just in time, guys. Like, I could have died there very easily, and the game would have been over for me. I would have been stuck in spectator mode, so... Uh, make sure you're not pushing up without your team. Okay, you want to make sure, even if you're the best player in the world, right? Um, 1v4s aren't going to be the easiest thing in in, uh, in this game. So you're, you're, you, you guys, you ideally, do? you would prefer to wait for your team if you can help it because, you know, it's going to make the situation that much better and easier for you guys to accomplish. So here we get the loot. What is, a ni what is a mistake that we did here is we're probably all looting at the same time. Um, because we know there's really nobody in the area, it's not the biggest deal. However, you want to make sure at least one person is watching out. We only have three people in the squad. So, you know, one person watch out. If you have a four-person squad, probably two people watch out. Just to make sure you don't get, like, headshot from a distance or something. Here you will see me using my bandages, this is because I know there is no immediate threat, so I think I want to save my one first day that I have on me. However, I'm going to keep running and looting while healing, so I can make sure to, you know, save as much time as possible while getting my health up to full. Also, guys, you'll see here that I'm not just spamming bandages, and you don't need to, right? If you spam bandages, it's only like a... 0.2 second difference from waiting so a bandage has five ticks on it guys um, if you wait for the third tick to happen and you press the next bandage it'll be by the time it's done it'll uh, apply the next bandage or sorry I phrased that wrong if you wait for the three ticks apply the next bandage by the time it is done the last bandage will be done healing because bandages do not stack so, I mean, you know, if you can save a lot of inventory space by doing this, so you only have to carry around five bandages to get from low HP to 75%, um, with no, no, no time difference really at all. So as far as my loot goes, you know, I, I, I'm aiming for, you know, like four first aids, four of each booster, five bandages, guns with a 4X and 2X. I prefer the 2X myself because I just have a problem hitting people with the red dots and hollows. Not sure why, you know, it's just a personal thing. So that's your preference there if you want a red dot hollow 2X. Which guns you want to take is preference. Um, just a kind of little tip, the SKS has been very, very strong at close range recently. You will see me not take it in this game because I think this is pre-SKS buff patch. Alright, so here we decide to keep looting, and this is because we do have circle, right? We got very lucky getting the first circle because I never really do. So we take advantage of that, get as much loot as we can by looting the rest of the houses, finishing up the crates, and so on. But ideally, you're going to want to be done looting by the time the first circle either starts or gets to you if you don't have circle, the white circle. If you do have the white circle, you... 
pretty much want to be done looting by the time it touches and goes to the second circle. So this will allow you to be ready for any team engagement that you come upon. You don't want to be caught off guard just looting around and everything. Just kind of a heads up from my experience, guys. So here we, yeah, we, we decide to finish looting the houses. Not much exciting going on here. We got lucky with Circle. We cleaned up an early on team oh, fight. Helmet, and, you know, we just uh, try to get as much loot as we can. I get that level 3 backpack, we'll, backpack, which will help me out later on in the game for when I'm looting dead enemies uh, to carry. So I don't have to, you know, drop some of my loot, etc. So you, you hear perks, which is I have a big nick. You hear him ask if anybody has an SMG. This is likely because he found a suppressor or anything of that oh, nature, an attachment for the SMG. The items are easy to see. He's just make uh, because it's it's very useful. An SMG yeah. on, or sorry, my apologies. A suppressor on a UMP cannot be heard from like a hundred meters away, and even at that distance, it is barely heard. So running an SMG with a suppressor is, is actually beneficial know. compared to like an AK no, without suppressor. But since I have an it. Excuse me, an AR suppressor, I decide, you know, not really worth my time, and okay, we just continue on. So, by sticking around and continuing, I did find a level 3 helmet, which will prevent me from getting one shot by a sniper, despite the arm. So, you know, it, it definitely is worth it, but now that the circle has touched, we should be done looting. You know, I should make the call that we need to go fight. However, I decide, you know, we'll just keep looting, finish up these houses, get as much as we can. Which, you know, did not result in any immediate consequences in this case. So, you know, maybe we got lucky. But, you know, I kind of keep it as a rule of thumb, guys. Try to be done looting by the time the second circle starts. So you can just get in position get ready to fight. Now, just another tip. Um, if you are very well looted, you get all of your loot at the beginning of the game. You can go to the middle and set up. Go to the middle of the white circle, set up, get ready for end game. If you need loot, if you're low on meds, you don't have sights, or you only have like a SMG and a shotgun, or anything of that nature, level 1 gear, whatever, you're going to want to try to play the edge of the circle, loot the houses, get any straggling teams, get their loot, etc., and then you can push in later on in the game. Also, the way that our squad plays is we kind of assume everybody gets level 2 gear, we have our guns, we have our sights, you know, we at least have one of every med, like first aid and two uh, boosters. And if one of our teammates does not have these things, or I don't, like you know, we kind of expect each other to call it out. So we'll say we need a level 2 vest, or we need a level 2 helmet, or we yeah. need we need a 4X, or, you know, anything of that nature. So we're not calling out every little thing we find. Unless, you know, a teammate says they need it, then we'll drop a mark on it for quick retrieval. And, uh, again, you know, I, I am the strat, strat caller of this team. So, you know, they kind of move when I say, they, you know, they form the way I call out, etc. Just so they have the easy life of pointing and shooting all of our enemies while I am able to have worse aim and call out the strats. So around this point, I do believe I am calling out for the team to push up to the bridge. I, I want to be done looting. I think we spent too long on it. And he, right here, you'll see I realize my mic is muted. No way, man. I was thanking everybody for their support. Very stressful situation for any fellow streamers out there. Guys, you do know what I mean. Man. Oh, man. I don't but, know yes, I do call out for the team to push up to the bridge. But they are still looting. And, you know, they're kind of getting caught behind here. Because they're they're just in that looting mode, right? That's what happens when you loot for too long. Um, so I'm up here by myself. If I got yeah, into an immediate an fight with a team, I, I would have been screwed. So I push up to the bridge by myself, it, kind of expecting them to be there, there which There's is not the case. This compound, I'm marking. I That's notice a guy eight. immediately mark where yeah, his last seconds. known location is, so my team knows they need to push up right now. We need to help Con. And they know where he's at so they can get he's a good got, position like to fight him. I did not reveal myself to that enemy because I was solo. Well, and in, like I don't think it would have been very that. advantageous for myself bridge, to try to take that, that fight without knowing how many people there are, where they're at, what kind of guns they have, etc. You know, you, 
You want to kind of, if you have the choice, you want to kind of collect all this information so you can take the fight to the best of your ability and increase the chances of successfully winning the fight, right? And continuing the game on to get a chicken dinner. So here I'm kind of scoping them out, you know, I'm trying to figure out how many are there, where they're all at, what they may be holding, what they're at, you know, even what they're doing. And I tell my teammate he can come get my 4X for his car 98 because you always want to prioritize the snipers with with the ACOG, such as 4Xs, 8Xs, etc. I see this guy running across the road, and I'm like, we got to take this opportunity. We need to we need to wipe them out. This is a chance to get one guy down from that team, which will disable them to our advantage. And we have a sniper in the back, which pegs one of their teammates with a headshot as he's peeking out trying to find where I'm at with my suppressor. Whoop that ass. Right, yeah. We duck this guy he's in the buggy, the assuming right it's one of the teammates Wait. that's trying to get he's away. Unfortunately, he does, back. in fact, get away by his awesome buggy jukes. We can clean up those kills. We all put yeah, way too I much attention on this up. buggy. Um, yep. It really wasn't coming across that important, bridge, right? but yeah, yeah, he, he, he should have died there, absolutely. So here you'll hear me calling out all of the cars that are crossing, how many people there are, what kind of cars those people are driving. Just, just to, again, so my team knows what's going on. The more they know, the better they can handle the whole situation. Uh, these these team members start dying, so you know, you kind of do assume that the guy in the buggy just kind of dipped and left all of his friends, which is probably smart on his his side of things. Dropping sniper flash hider on the roof. There I call out that there's an AR suppressor on this box. I decide to give it to my teammates because I already have one, right? So it would be more beneficial to give that suppressor to one of my teammates for them for me to have two. Um, I can switch my suppressor back and forth between the guns or, you know, whatever. Because having a whole team suppressed is such a big advantage, guys. It's not often going to happen, but suppressors are just so amazing in this game they decrease the distance at which your gun can be heard by a huge amount and here again with the whole team looting thing you know i'm i'm right out in front of the bridge trying to loot stuff that i don't even really need honestly because i have plenty of meds i have the sights and everything to continue the game so very risky looting for not much benefit right so I decide that you know we got everything we need and we need yeah, to sure. continue let's, pushing let's on. Um, however, yeah, they're still kind of caught up on looting, which kind of slows the game down a little bit. But that's fine. You know, make sure you get what you need. Make sure you're fully comfortable with your loot and move on with the game. But again, guys, you really only need full level one gear, a gun, a sight, and some meds. You know, you don't have to go too crazy with it. Don't ever expect to get full level 3 gear and all suppressors or everything because it's most likely not going to happen. Get comfortable with minimizing minimalizing your loot, having only the basics of what you need, and killing the enemy. And that will make you a much better player so you're not you're just expecting every game to be fully looted because it's not going to happen with the RNG that this game has. So I drop a mark on where I think we should push up to. Now as the strat caller, the shot caller that's what it's expected of me right but the whole team is able to drop markers of where they think the team should go and as you're running you guys can sort of discuss it and decide on the best maneuver because you know i may not always have the best decisions not being able to hear here we see a team you know either trying to loot or pick each other up or whatever so we take full advantage of this and just thin the numbers of the game right the less people late the less people late game the easier it is to win that game, obviously. Yeah, there's a car less, less likely over there as well. chance of getting pinched uh, or getting bugs. flanked or whatever. Bugs. So I call out that we do need to clear this building because yeah, we have to run building. past this building. Meaning, if we go around it and there's a team in there, they will come out right behind us. So guys, you're going to want to start clearing any buildings or sheds or anything you need to run past into circle. They've just removed. to avoid getting flanked by team by teams and here you'll see my team is still tearing apart this team on the other side of the hill there which is perfectly fine um they're calling out where these guys are at you know what they're doing if they're standing still driving running etc how far they are which helps me better understand what's going on from their uh, perspective so 
if a guy's standing still, they're going to be like, the guy's at 300 standing still, I'm going to yeah. take a shot. Dude, and I'm like, just, do it. You know? So they wipe that guy out, easy peasy, thinning the numbers course. again. That team's scared. They're they're running away. I see this car 98 here. Actually, Perks calls it out to me. I decide, first I'm thinking, hey, I don't want to take it. I should stay close range, right? And then after thinking about it, I'm like, well, this is a second island circle. Close range fights aren't as likely. So I take the car 98 because I had the four times and I had the suppressed scar. So I take the car 98 and continue on. Um, again, I drop the... I take the car 98 because it's not going to be close nice range guy. fights. Right but if there is close range fights, oh, guys, I take the car 9 really or the scar. I drop yeah, the AK, like keep the scar because I know that if I need to, I'm I can the put the scar in full auto, yeah. smash somebody oh, up like close, not a problem. But yeah. the biggest thing oh, here is the oh, scar oh. is beneficial as well at long range. Yeah, yeah, so like here, ball. Perks calls out that there is a car across yeah, the road cool. that we can blow it up with our suppressors, which is a which is a great call, right? Um, we can kill this guy without much noise at all. He's very vulnerable, can't shoot back, etc. Easy kill. We can move on from a great call from our teammates. But I dropped the AK because the AK has the slowest bullet travel time of all the ARs. So, meaning at long distance, you're going to need much more, much more lead on your targets. You, you know, you're going to, you can't spam as many shots because of the recoil. So, at long distance, the AK and SKS are not the best for moving targets. However, they do have the most damage, which makes it amazing. So here, I can hear this buggy. Buggy, West. Coming right up. And I call right it out to my team, you know, to right. where they're coming from, where they're driving, and I decide <laughs> just take them out. I know it's a buggy just from the sound of it, so I can say, hey, there's only maximum of two people in this vehicle. Let's light them up, guys. They're very vulnerable. They're going to have a hard time shooting back. They're out in the open. We cannot let this team behind us, so let's light them up. If you have vision, take them out. And I decide to go back for the loot. I'll grab his, yep. You guys Which can, is kind of a silly decision, right um, hindsight. Yeah, just creep up over it. I may be you know, looking for an eight times so or just try whatever, but I really don't need meds here. As I said, you know, I'm only looking for four to five first oh, aids, four of each booster, bandages. five bandages, at least the four times, and, you know, a gun. That's really all you need, oh, and I have yeah, much well, more than that, right? So going back to loot that guy, unnecessary, risky in its own sense. Put, puts myself away from the team rather further behind so um my opinion not worth that take it as you will guys i mean the fact that we got so these guys make it to the marker on top of the hill we have an extraordinary position up here guys welcome everybody the stream truly incredible for this whole circle we can see all of military base we can see all of south towards the beach on the cliff so oh, we're sorry. able to find all Thank of enemy guys, positions so here, how I far they are, where sure they're going, etc. We can get all the information we need. Very defensible or, as well uh, because nobody can be above us due to the blue circle. And if they are, we'll be they're whatever. gonna be rather hurt coming Have behind us. So easy kills there. And I lurk more while I'm not streaming. You know, I love to give back what I get. But yeah, we are in a rain map as well, which limits the vision and hearing. Makes it a little bit tougher. Um yeah, so this, also I'm here cool. we're kind I'm kind of just running around we're anybody, we're like, we're discussing some top, things and this is because I'm waiting for the blue circle to finish. Right I should be using this time it's to look better, for yeah. enemies out out and about anywhere in the circle. Let's find some people. But mostly we're kind of just hunkering down waiting they for the circle chance to, to figure out where shit, we need so. to go next. We are taking some yeah, Hail Mary guys, shots uh, here just because I know that we are very safe. Guys we have the ammo. Far. We have the gear to take any they're fight. The, so just we're we're gonna try to take we're we're gonna try to thin the numbers Shit, here again. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna guys try to take far. out as many guys people as we far. can. Running through the air and continue on with the I game. Three hundred meters. Sorry about that. And again, it's guys, prone. Prone. Um, I see a lot of people make this mistake. They'll just start proning out in the open. Unless you're confident that proning will provide you cover from the Dude, guy I, shooting at okay. you, I think you'll be I a lot him. safer trying to run away with a zigzag sort of motion. I'm shooting a guy on so, the far left, too. Um, if you are one of those uh, that is in I like mean, a habit of proning out in the open, I would not recommend it unless, like I said, I you are guaranteed to have cover from the enemy by doing so. Uh, here I'm healing because I made a mistake of jumping down the mountain. Obviously, I just fell down. That was silly. 
And I dropped the marker on the left side of the road here, guys. This is this is a big decision I make. So I know we have to cross the road. And I put the marker up there because we're already on top of the hill. So we wouldn't have to run uphill to get there. We just have to run south across the road, which is kind of open. Yes. But once we get over there, we have the height advantage over everybody. Even on the south side because the hill curves down. So we have height advantage over everybody. Yeah, we're at the tip go. of the circle. And anybody on the okay. north side towards military base has no cover uh, except for the bunkers well. and the fence. Oh, and anybody on the south side, they only have trees the same as we do. So, you know, yeah, they're dude, kind of in a similar situation. Bad luck day but, you know, we kind of take some more pop shots at the guys with crates. Um, you know, I hate letting somebody run away with a crate because it just feels like I'm giving them a powerful weapon to kill me with later on. So I always try to kill somebody that's getting a crate as much as I can. Not great with it, obviously. Absolutely going to be people on this mountain. We can hold the right side as we clear. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we should be able to see anybody on this map. So, as we're running along here, we do have amazing Keep positioning with the high west, ground. We can see west, where the southwest. teams are moving, you know, on the military we'll base side, the north side. We can easily yeah. see, you know, as south they're south transporting, south transporting south. over, if they're taking a car, if they're running, you know, where they're going to be moving because there's not much cover down there. Right, they got to figure something out. Yeah. So, we make it to my marker where right, I originally right, wanted to cool. go. All perfect. safe, all well, yeah, good, good to go. Um, Ray starts getting shot here. Yep, I'm waiting. Not really sure where. He's not really sure I'm where, sure but I can hear them, so I'm able to tell them where people are shooting. We need to get into the circle. Uh, Perks down. calls out a team, but he does not give me the environment, which top of tunnel, in front of tunnel, doesn't uh, help me at all because I spend time looking around, right, well, and we need to it, kill, we need to clear it, you circle, know, it yeah. it makes it so yeah. much quicker if you give we compass direction, distance, right and, and environment, so you can easily tell if where the here, teams are at. So, you know, I'm kind of just scoping around here, trying to find where everybody is at, so we can better assess where we need to go. Right Perk sees a team here, so we decide, you know, we're just we're just wiping everybody out here, as many people as we can. I take shots from the right, I believe, down, yep, down northwest. 255. Spot more people. Uh, yeah, my teammate fun. does go yeah, down, and that has always been kind of my priority. If a teammate oh. goes down, I am oh, there to res them as soon as I can, um, if I can. There's one running 255. Twice yeah, that's, so here that's is a glitch, guy guys. Um, be aware of this. You if times, you're it, sometimes shot. behind them or in front of them, if they're vertical of you, it, it, it will bounce you off and won't let you res them. So okay. here, I just try to get the res off as this quickly as I can. And the reason I'm so focused on resing, yeah, guys, is because the more teammates you have late game, the better chance you are to ha take on a uh, another team, right? So if it's 1v4, it's going to be extremely difficult. If it's 2v4, a little bit easier. 3v4, pretty reliable. And 4v4, you know, even match. So you want to keep those bodies as much as you can. Don't be, don't be greedy about trying to save yourself Knocked. if you are able to save your teammate. If not, you know, some nice. it's, it's obviously sometimes you can't. So all of these guys on the south side had to cross over through the through the woods there and they waited way too long. They waited until the blue was pushing them. So they were they were not able to stop to get cover to shoot back or they would have died to blue circle because at this point it chunked so hard. During the fourth or I'm fifth circle of the on. game, the damage ramps up extremely. Um, it will jump from only doing a little bit of damage to full chunking you to where you have to pop a first aid at 50%. So we wipe all the teams out on the south side. We notice there's a team here by the fence, and then we quickly realize there's only one guy left. So I'm pushing left here. We got a teammate pushing right. You know, I go, yeah, I'm just, I used to, he starts shooting at me, so I just, you know, pull up and shoot back, because I'm out in the open with no cover. So I want to make sure I give him as much pressure as I can. He's focused on me, I have my teammate come around behind him, and we clean up. Easy victory there, guys. Woo! Get well, thank you so much for watching. This is my very first, you know, step-by-step -step commentary of of a game yeah, dude, so i hope you enjoyed i hope i could help you learn a little something and again thank you guys so much for stopping by have a good day
Unconfused.